Right, welcome back to another reaction. Today, we have got why black holes could delete the universe. You already know I love my black holes. You know I love my space. Let's jump straight into this one. I'm looking forward to it, man. Let's go. Black holes are the most powerful things in the universe, strong enough to rip whole stars into atom-sized pieces. Mm -hmm. Well, this is scary oh, yeah. enough. They have an even more powerful They're dark so property. fucking cool. They might delete the universe itself. Honestly, to be honest, like the amount of black hole videos I've seen is crazy. I, 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 I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I might go into like a degree doing like black hole science or something. Like I, I'm becoming so knowledgeable on black holes now. Like I've seen every single fucking video, man. <laughs> I've seen every video. But watch me still get stuff wrong. Pretty much at the end of the universe is only going to be black holes. Black holes in a nutshell. A black hole appears when an extraordinary amount of matter is concentrated in a oh, yeah. tiny space. Wait, didn't like, uh, like ages ago, I'm talking about like 10, 15 years, didn't we nearly create a black, black hole on Earth, which could have been like really bad? It was like some fucking, I, I can't remember what was happening now, but it was on the news or something when I was a kid. I was like, oh my God, they can make a black hole like on Earth. Like what? At it was crazy. Center, gravity is almost infinitely strong and whatever something gets like that. too close is ripped into its elementary particles. Yeah. Not right. even light can escape black holes. And so we perceive them as spheres of blackness. If you were to fall into a black hole, nothing Something goes in, nothing goes out. Nothing bad would happen until well after you crossed its outer border, the event horizon. You can imagine this as swimming in a river that ends in an enormous waterfall. As you float along, imperceptibly, the stream gets faster and faster, even if you can't see the waterfall yet. You could swim to safety until, without even noticing it, you cross the point of no return. No matter how fast you try to swim now, the stream you will are pull you being yep. certain death. There we go. Nothing can escape oh, no. the black hole waterfall once it gets too close. Little man's being so This dead. border completely separates black holes from the rest of the universe. We can't access them unless we're willing to never return. So <sighs> there's no way of turning. Hey, who wants to go to a black hole? To be fair, like, wouldn't we be at, like, what would happen if we made, like, some sort of machine, right? It would just be ripped to shreds, wouldn't it? Like, we got some machine, we live stream the data to us, so we see every single bit of what happens when it goes, it, it, would, it, would it would just be messed up, won't it? Telling what's really going on inside black holes, but we have a few ideas about what's going on right at their very edges. Black holes radiate their mass away, like a hot pot on a stove losing its water as steam. This is called Hawking radiation. Black holes constantly lose an extremely tiny amount of their mass, a process that's unbelievably slow. It will take a black hole with the mass of our sun 10,000 billion, 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 billion years to lose... You can't even fathom those years. You actually can't. 0. You 0. can't. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 1 percent of its mass. <laughs> what the This fuck? is happening constantly and unstoppably. And this is why they'll on, be the last thing in the universe. More and more. In the far, far future, when the last star in the universe has been dead for trillions of years, black holes will become tinier and tinier until they evaporate and disappear, leaving behind just a bit of radiation. But this is a problem, because in the process of disappearing, black holes might delete something fundamental. Information. Oh Two, shit! What is information? Information is nothing tangible. It's typically understood as a property of the arrangement of particles. What does this mean? Imagine a bunch of carbon atoms. Arrange them in a certain way and you get coal. Arrange right. them in a different way and you get a diamond. Aye. The atoms are the same. What changes is the information. If we make Wait, this that's coal, actually really fucking cool as fuck. Like, wouldn't like scientists be a... No, I don't know. And add in a few more atoms, I know. we get a banana. It, it's probably a lot Change more complex the than this. Of the atoms and we get a squirrel. Yeah, the basic yeah, building like, blocks yeah. of everything in the universe are the same and don't care if they're part of a bird. It's basically just like we're all made of the same atoms. It's just the way we're arranged makes who we are. You know what I mean? Like everything is made of atoms and shit. It's like we're made of the same. It, 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 it's very simplified because we're obviously not a diamond block. You know what I mean? But the atoms are very, very, yeah. Bird yeah. or a rock yeah. or a cup of coffee. I was never good at Without science, to be fair. To, to say how much I love about space. I was never really good at science and like classes and stuff, ever. But I was more like uh, uh, on the basis of like atoms and stuff. 
a anything to do with space and planets and all that kind of stuff is a uh, even though you have atoms and everything it's a uh, it's a lot different the universe would be the same according to the theory of quantum mechanics information is indestructible it might change shape but it can never be lost for example if you burn a piece of paper you get ash that ash will never become paper again but if you were able to carefully collect you never know carbon atom in the ash you never know we might make something properties of the smoke and heat radiating from the fire you could in theory reconstruct the paper the what information the of the paper is still in the universe it's not lost it's just hard to read if you could somehow measure every single atom Bro, and, be mad. and wave of radiation in the universe you could see and track every bit of information there is Hypothetically, you could see the entire history of the universe right back to the Big Bang. And here, black holes trip us up. Information tells us how things are different from each other and what used to be what. Black holes do the opposite. They take different things and make them the same. They destroy information. This creates the information... Yeah, but listen, 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 listen. You're saying black holes is going to destroy the information, right? But by the time black holes are nearly destroyed, the universe is gone anyway. You know what Paradox, I mean? Paradox, and this is a serious problem. Why are we going to need the information when we're all gone? The information paradox. It's fundamental for all our laws of physics that information can never be lost. Existing, not existing, Without information, everything is relative. When it comes to our understanding of reality, we need absolutes. How could we solve this paradox? There are a few possibilities. One, information is lost, irretrievably and forever. This means we have to nix all our laws of physics, throwing out a lot of stuff that's worked very well so far and start from scratch. What those new laws of physics would look like, or what that means for us, nobody knows. This is a little frightening, Mad. but also kind of exciting. Two, information is hidden. Maybe a little part of the black hole splits off and forms a baby universe. The information <laughs> will be transferred into this new, weird place what where we could never fuck? observe or interact with it, but technically it would not be lost. It's like having a broken hard drive with all your family. Hey, listen, black holes is just a, it, it, it's just a, um, a time warp into a different, you know, universe. That's all it is. That's all it is. Into a different, that you know what I'm saying? Into a different reality. Into it, you know. If I hop in a black hole, I'm gonna come out into a whole entire new universe where there's another me and shit. Right? Only photos. That's what's gonna happen access. right there. <laughs> sure, it's nice that they've not been deleted, but also not very helpful. Or maybe black holes don't disappear completely after the end of their life cycles, but a little piece is left, an information diamond, like a clown car filled with an infinite amount of information clowns. But there's a third option. Information is safe after all, not lost or hidden. Perhaps we've just been looking at this whole thing the wrong way. We know that black holes trap information and might delete it later, but we never thought about what they do with it in the meantime. Where do black holes store their information? Cosmic housekeeping. Let's create a black hole with dirty laundry. <laughs> First, we fill up a room with laundry baskets. Is this saying that black holes is cosmic housekeeping? It's just sweeping up all the dirty planets and, you know, you know what I mean? It's just cleaning up the universe, right? The more man. laundry you want to store, the more baskets you put in the room. But at some point, every single basket is full and the room is completely stacked. Not a single extra sock fits in. The room is at maximum Ah, capacity. took it on top. Took it but on top. still squeeze the sock in with a lot of energy and violence, the room collapses in on itself and forms a black hole. Oh. But the capacity okay. of the room itself has not changed. Fitting in more stuff or information is still impossible. So what happens if we throw more laundry into it? The room itself gets a little bit bigger to make space for the new information. It turns out a black hole grows its surface by a tiny pixel for each bit of information we throw into it. There In we go, nutshell, then. More information it's means it. more surface area. The information gets painted on the surface, similar to what happens when we... Th Bro, I'm not going to lie. It's really tripping me out how we, like, describing stuff as information right now. Like, information is being stored. You mean, like, just, like... Bro, it's tripping me out. It's tripping me out. a stone into a pond. It's tripping me out. After the stone sinks to the bottom, we can't see it anymore, but we can tell that something went <laughs> in from the ripples on the surface of the pond. 
Even the smallest black hole can store more information on its surface than all the data ever produced in human history. They do this by storing information in a type of pixel that is unbelievably tiny. Bro, it's confusing me. The black, like the black, it's talking about the black hole. Like the black hole is like some sort of fucking massive mother mother computer. You know what I mean? Is this is tripping me out? That like how is it storing the information? What is the information looking like? It, like let, let, let let's say a satellite enters the black hole, right? It's completely ripped apart. The information is kept there. How how? Like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, what? Like, huh? <laughs> the black holes are the ultimate hard drive. Like, does it just, this... just mean that the atoms that make the satellite in that way, or or, or, or let, let, let's say a planet, for example, the, the, the atoms that make the planet in that way are kept in the same way in the black hole, but sh smaller. So, so they know how to make... Bro, what the f is It's a bit like shit, taking a paperback and turning it into an ebook. Two things that look completely different, but their content is the same. It's just encoded and memorized in another way. Black holes swallowing stars and planets is a bit like transferring a whole library onto an e-reader. Yeah. This solution is called the holographic principle. It's so confusing, right? Then everything we thought we knew about the universe uh, how is, is it? wrong. <laughs> The I'm still confused. Is a oh, here we go. If okay. information is actually stored on the boundary of a black hole, the Hawking radiation has a chance of learning about the information encoded there and can carry it away. What? So, information is not lost when black holes fade away and we do not need to redo physics. The information paradox is resolved. But we still have to change our understanding of reality in a fundamental way. If everything that falls into the black hole is stored on its event horizon, that basically means that three-dimensional stuff is encoded on a flat surface. We have a name for this, a hologram. Bro, a hologram. what the f- Like, oh, no, no, I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. This is like, beyond me. This is beyond me. This is confusing the shit out of me. Like, a bird goes in, it's turned into information. How it, like- Gram is like a 3D photo, a flat piece of plastic that encodes a three-dimensional image. A black hole is like a hologram because everything inside it is encoded on its event horizon. A person inside a black hole would experience their usual three-dimensional life. But for us on the outside, they are flattened images on the surface of the black hole. The consequence of this is counterintuitive, but stay with us for a moment. Black holes are very extreme objects, but they're still bound to the same rules as everything else. So if this crazy duality between 2D and 3D works for black holes, then it might work for the whole universe and you in it. Since this a person is inside a black hole would not realize that they're encoded on a flat surface, we might share the same fate. You really might be stretched over a flat screen at the end of the universe. The science behind this is complicated and really weird. With toy universes yeah, it really with, is. String theory and a lot of maths. We'll talk about this more in another video. Regardless of what the true nature of the universe really is, we just know that it's strange and complicated, and we have to do a lot more physics to understand it. But oh, black holes might be key to understanding the nature of reality itself. Well, let's just take all the information out of it. <laughs> This video was I'm sure we we'll learned a lot. Really, really, really good video. Enjoyed that one. Hopefully you guys did as well. If you did, make sure you do drop a like and make sure you subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.